so last year has been uh, quite challenging for us, as you can imagine. Um, uh, however, uh, you know, uh, given even given the challenges, we have seen uh, uh, quite good uh, uh, development pipeline. Um, in fact, uh, a very uh, strong pipeline of 26 projects under development at the moment. And 2020 has marked actually the most deal signed as well, which show that there is sustained interest and appetite uh, to invest in the industry and market in the long term. Uh, we've announced very key uh, uh, openings and properties in Europe, Asia, and the Caribbean. Um, last, last year, I think different markets uh, ha are in different situation. Um, China fared quite well, as you can imagine. Um, uh, domestic travel in China uh, has proven to be very strong um, and uh, really driven up by uh, leisure demand. And so in China, all our hotels actually have surpassed uh, previous year's performance by over 50%. Um, so we continue to be very optimistic in China. I think, I think going forward, um, uh, it will, we, will, we will see uh, uh, travel bubbles uh, appearing in different regions. Uh, there are significant pent up demand uh, which we are preparing ourselves to uh, 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 for that in the future. Um, and looking at second uh, second half of this year onwards, there are significant pent up demand for leisure travel. Um, and last year, I think it was just a very um, important year for us to learn. Uh, we focused it on on building, continue to build our long term foundation uh, that will allow us to come out of this. Uh, pandemic stronger and and uh, uh, better. I want to go back to your point about the China properties uh, faring well. How would you say uh, the properties in China and the rest of Asia are faring compared to the rest of the world? So as I said, uh, China was fueled by domestic travel. So uh, within China itself, it, it fared much better than uh, the the rest of the Asian country. Uh, so it really varies between countries depending on travel restrictions and the regulations. In in the U.S. and U, uh, in the U.S. Uh, uh, leisure properties uh, like resorts in California, in Mexico, uh, are actually doing very well. Uh, again, they actually exceeded uh, performance uh, uh, in previous years. One of our Mexico property actually has not seen such a high uh, performance since the opening of the property ten years ago. Um, so I, I think that it really depends on the feeder market in different regions, uh, where they're coming from and travel re restrictions within, uh, within the countries as well. So, so, so I think that in the near future, it will be more regional travel that we'll be focusing on um, and travel bubble forming and leisure will be driving the demand. Well, um, uh, when the pandemic hit, our health and safety is a top priority. So we spent a lot of time building our commitment to care program, which is a global health and safety pro program to ensure that all our properties are conducted in the highest uh, standard for hygiene. Um, and then uh, in terms of, uh, you know, attracting customers where we can, you know, it, 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 we've, uh, the team has uh, uh, done a lot of creative programming and tactics uh, to understand the customer needs uh, within the boundaries and the restrictions of where we are today. So, for example, uh, city uh, locations like Rose in Hong Kong, uh, we push out a, a really extensive staycation programs where um, uh, where uh, local residents can use Rosewood as a uh, a resort and an urban getaway location uh, to spend the breaks and the vacation. Um, so these are creative programmings that we've come up with um, to try to uh, drive the demand and the and the and the um, opportunity as well. And I think that uh, um, because of the uh, pandemic and given that everyone has all of a sudden stayed at home and spent a lot more time on digital, we had to be much more agile and 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 uh, uh, focus our energy and resources in building our digital platform. Um, and in terms of how we build uh, our content and programming digitally, whether it's social media, whether it's our website, uh, to provide uh, engaging content to our customers to ensure that we keep that relationship as well as uh, engaging them and connecting them in different ways uh, um, uh, uh, for the brand. Um, also, I think um, 
in terms of you know if looking at post pandemic which we're thinking about what will happen what's the new normal i think because of the pandemic uh, our customers are really focusing on 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 wellness uh, and so we have launched our, uh, our wellness brand Asaya uh, with our first uh, flagship location in, in Hong Kong to really provide that urban uh, wellness center uh, for our consumers. And, and I think post pandemic, our consumers are also thinking about, you know, the first thing for travel is, is going to be leisure, it's going to be with family, it's going to be about uh, connection, uh, connection with family, connection with friends. So uh, really targeting that mindset and that um, uh, uh, creating uh, offers or experience that uh, that is catering to to their needs and the consumers' needs as well. The other trend that we've been seeing is that because of the pandemic, um, uh, our customers are really valuing uh, uh, privacy and exclusivity, um, and so uh, we're seeing a lot of uh, uh, demand for villas. Uh, as well as long stay. So the trend is that travelers, if they go to a destination, they actually prefer to uh, stay longer. So think, really thinking ahead about how, when we design uh, 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 hotels and resorts, um, looking at uh, 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 the design and the, the planning, how we can uh, build to accommodate uh, customers for long stay, as well as catering to the, the needs for privacy and ex exclusivity. So, so we are, uh, uh, are spending a lot more, investing a in more, lot more resources and time in building our branded residence program, uh, which will be uh, residences that are branded Rosewood and will be for sale for our customers as well. Do you think these trends are going to be lasting post pandemic? Are you thinking of the strategy uh, exchange? Will it be something that you'll be following in the long run? I think these trends will will last. Uh, I think uh, uh, some of the new normal will definitely uh, sustain, and it, some of these trends actually is very fitting with with the uh, with the strategy we have always been. Uh, coming up with for Rosewood, whether it's wellness, you know, planning the Asaya brand was three years ago. So, so COVID actually uh, allow us to fast track uh, that uh, route in that direction. Uh, Rosewood residence has always been our plan as well. So now we have to really ramp up uh, that that effort as well. We're also launching our first private members club, which is called Carlisle and Co in Hong Kong. Uh, and we believe that post pandemic, people are actually. Uh, in uh, 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 really looking to connect with their friends again and being part of a community uh, in an exclusive way. So I think Carlisle & Co, which is opening this summer in Hong Kong, uh, will be a perfect uh, a kind of timing to, um, to let our, our community to connect again. again. From a hospitality perspective, I think uh, vaccination is definitely one way to ensure the safety of our guests and associates. Um, and and uh, we do, uh, uh, you know, encourage our our associates to make their own decisions um, and and on on vaccination. But I do think that you know vaccination, uh, you know, and 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 uh, managing the situation and ending COVID, uh, it, it cannot be rolled out alone. You know, we still believe that you know we should as hotels we need to operate with the highest hygiene standards and continue to stay vigilant even with vaccine at every uh, guest touch point. But definitely, I think these initiatives uh, will help facilitate more convenient and safer travel again for hotels. Um, I think there's a few questions there. So first of all, I think on purpose for travel, um, I think that that will be uh, when we all can travel and borders open up, I think that is going to be a very important uh, component. Because of the pandemic, our customers are uh, actually re really valuing travel and, and treasure travel and they want to ensure that you know that it's meaningful travel um, they're, uh, they're looking at uh, 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 options hotels uh, that have a strong sustainability fund a, a strong community effort um, and I think this is post pandemic sort of a lot of people have you know realization of uh, of, of, of the meaning of, of um, a purpose and that drives a lot of uh, um, uh, decisions and consumer decisions. Um, so I think hotels will need to think about their offer, uh, their experience, their programming, the sustainability efforts. Uh, for Rosewood um, ourselves, uh, we are very uh, uh, passionate on this front. Um, you know, over the pandemic, uh, we have launched Rosewood Race, for example, which is a relief initiative that assists our associates and our communities 
uh, in the cities um, during the difficult times. We've also uh, done a lot of, um, you know, hosting medical workers, supplying food. Uh, so all of these are actually very important uh, message and, and components for, for our customers when they're looking at brand of choice. Um, and so in terms of revenge spending, as I mentioned before, uh, I think that there is a significant pent up demand on travel, particularly on leisure, as we're seeing our booking pace uh, uh, for the remaining of the year and leading up to first quarter of 2022, we're seeing a, a huge surge on, on booking uh, for, for the latter part of the year and, and next year, whether it's leisure as well as mice as well and meetings. Um, so I think that people are uh, prepared to spend. They are just waiting for the border to open and they, they will be traveling uh, immediately. I think the key for us um, as a brand is to how to be top of their minds uh, when they're making the decision. So, so whether to stay engaged with them through digital uh, channels, making sure that our content are relevant to them, that resonates with them, our experiences that we're offering to them uh, are, are related to them and relevant as well as really um, using our relationship uh, with them and customers' relationship to stay on top of, of that connection with our customers, uh, using data uh, of what we understand about our customers, their preferences and what they're looking for post-pandemic and tailoring our offers to, to their needs will, stay, will ensure that us was staying on top of their minds. 